Well, Tyrone, firstly, welcome back. You've got a big beaming smile on your face. How much does it mean to you to be sat here now as a permanent Aston Villa player? Yeah, it's great. Uh, I'm obviously delighted to be back. Um, after the journey that we went on for the second half of the season um, last year, it felt like, a, felt like a natural fit for me to come back here as a permanent player. So I'm delighted that eventually it got done and um, I could come back here and hopefully build on what we've done last year. Are those Wembley memories still fresh in the mind? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. That will, that will uh, stay with me for a long time. It was a great day. Great day for everyone associated with the club. So um, I've watched the highlights back a few times since and tried to relive the day as, uh, as a fan or from an outside point of view. But yeah, it was a great day and one that, like I said, will stay with me for a very long time. And where does that day and that achievement rank in your career highlights so far? Definitely the um, biggest achievement of my career, for sure. Um, everything that happened whilst I was at Aston Villa kind of led to that day. And we, we achieved such great things throughout the season, winning 10 games in a row and making history and stuff like that. But the actual day to go to Wembley and to win is, is something that growing up in this country, you dream of doing. So to be able to go there and experience such a um, great occasion, the championship, playoff final is such a great day so to go there and to win it and to kind of reap the rewards of everything that comes with it for the club and um, for yourself it is something that uh, yeah I don't take lightly it will, it will stay with me forever and probably the most my best achievement of my career for sure and we have to mention it after Wembley after all the celebrations you're pictured in your full kit at various train stations with your medal still around your neck what did you make of the club's announcement, which was uh, a sort of a variation on the theme, if you like, of you arriving on a train? Yeah, sure. Um, very clever, kind of tongue in cheek. It was a, it was a nice idea. Uh, obviously very fitting, the fact that I got pictures at Bournemouth with my uh, Villa kit on. But yeah, it was, a, it was a nice way to announce the kit and a good idea for sure. Now, virtually every post that the club has made on social media all summer has been inundated with replies containing hashtag announce Mings. Did you see any of that on your social channels? Is it a sign of how highly the fans regard you? Yeah, of course I've seen it. I couldn't get away from it. Uh, <laughs> whether I posted something that wasn't related to football or was, or whether it be uh, another company that I'm involved in, whether it would be my academy or something, that everybody was getting inundated. So it was nice. it's nice to feel wanted. It's nice to um, receive such a lovely welcome by the fans. Um, it was something that I wanted all summer long and it was something they wanted. So thankfully we're now sitting here and I'm a permanent Aston Villa player. Now cast your mind back to January when you joined on loan, you spoke about wanting to be part of a promotion challenge. What are your goals and aims for this upcoming season? Um, to, my goals and aims are the same as what they were when I came here in January is to um, play as many games and, and be part of success for the club. Whatever that means, whatever goals we have for the season, I want to be a big part of that. And I want to obviously play my part. Um, and we obviously achieved what we set out to achieve when I came here in January. We're now set new goals and um, do everything we can to go and achieve those. But yeah, I just want to, I just want to enjoy my football and, and hopefully that brings success to the team. Of course, you've already played in the Premier League. How important is that experience going to be, not just for yourself, but for the team as well this term? Yeah, sure. I, I, have a, I have a bit of experience in the Premier League. I wouldn't call myself an experienced player, but um, any bits of experience that you can, that you can uh, use at this stage of the season or, or throughout the season will be, will be valuable. So there'll be players in the squad that have played more games than me. There'll be players in the squad that um, have played less games. So everybody will hopefully be able to help each other. And a big thing that got us promoted was um, our team spirit and the fact that when other players were called upon, they, they stepped up and um, played a huge part in, in certain times of our promotion run. So I think that will be important again. The strength of the group will hopefully be um, the thing that, that carries us to success. We've touched on it already about your relationship with the supporters here at Aston Villa. You're already a fan's favourite. Um, and you've mentioned before about feeling the love from the supporters and the positive vibe around the club. Is that relationship part of what drew you back here? Yeah, definitely. Um, I kind of 
I kind of knew from day one, and I don't mean to be disrespectful to Bournemouth, but I knew from day one that this was a great fit. Um, and by day one, I mean when I played at Villa Park, probably. I knew the size of the club before I got here, but to feel the kind of 12th man, which was the, the fans in the stadium and really supporting us. Obviously, my first game at Aston Villa, uh, at Villa Park, sorry, was the Sheffield United game. So to kind of draw on the strength of the crowd and know that they were behind us and the, obviously the lovely messages that they've sent me. And um, I've made it no secret that I've really enjoyed my time here. So, yeah, it was a big part of, of why I came back, but there was never really uh, anywhere else that I wanted to go. Well, it's all done and dusted now. How much are you looking forward to getting back out on those training pitches? Yeah, I can't wait to start. Uh, I just, it's been a long summer waiting for things to happen and um, various rumours crop up of whether it's going to happen, whether it isn't going to happen, but I always had, I always had faith that it would. Um, so I'm thankful for the people that, that were involved in that, Bournemouth, Aston Villa and um, my agent, obviously. So I'm thankful that the deal eventually got done and I'm just looking forward, to, looking forward to getting started and testing ourselves against the best in the country. Well, it's just over a month to go before that first game of the season, but there's a lot of hard work to be done before then, of course. Plenty, yeah. Obviously, pre-season is never easy at, at any league. Um, and there'll be a lot of hard work that goes into it, a lot of long days, but everything we do will hopefully be geared up to us putting in a good performance away at Tottenham. You just mentioned it there in terms of a first game to open the season. How exciting a proposition is that, Tottenham away? Yeah, perfect. I think when you, when, you, when you dream about getting from the Championship to the Premier League, you dream about playing at nice stadiums and um, having these great days out where you win as, as perhaps you're underdogs. So to go there and test yourself against um, a team like Tottenham, first game will be absolutely perfect. I think everybody should be in, looking forward to it and... Um, relishing the challenges against teams like this so I'm sure it'll be fine.